everyone. How you doing today? I have got another DIY for you and this is the body cream that I put on directly out of the shower. Um, it, I'm telling you, throughout the winter time I see all these people saying, you know, all my gals on YouTube saying how dry their skin is and do you have any suggestions for, you know, a good moisturizer? This right here is all you need and I'm going to show you how to use it. Okay, now I keep all of my uh, Yankee Candle Jars, which I buy these prolifically, and I keep them all because I, I mean, I don't know how many years I must have thrown these away, these perfectly good glass jars, and then when I started getting into um, making my own serums and stuff, my own body scrubs, I thought, man, I should start keeping those jars, and so I have, and of course now I've got dozens and dozens of them, but anyways, um, in the winter time, I do not have any problems with scaly skin, um, you know, flaky skin. And let me tell you, about 12 years ago, before I discovered doing with coconut oil what I do with it, um, I used to have uh, skin that was so dry, and this would happen to my mother too. Now, my mom was a diabetic, and her poor, her calves and her feet would get so dry that they would actually, like, you know, if she was sitting in her chair, um, watch a TV for the night, by the end of the night when she would get up and leave on the hardwood floor, there'd be like a pile of, you know, skin cells or whatever from, from her scratching her legs or just moving her legs together. You know, there would be like a pile of um, what looked like dandruff or something on the floor there. And I swore, I vowed I was going to find her something that would fix that for her because she was constantly scratching her feet. I mean, my mother, I grew up remembering my mom doing this with her feet, just constantly rubbing her feet together like this, you know, on the floor and in front of her chair or whatever. Uh, underneath the kitchen table, wherever she was, she was always doing this. Even in the car, when we'd be on road trips or something, she would take her shoes off and rub her feet together, and it was because they always itched. And of course it was because she had, you know, the problems that many of you that are diabetic would know what I'm talking about. But, um, you know, you, you have problems with your feet and your legs when you're diabetic, with just skin particularly. And I vowed that I was going to find something that would fix that for her, and I did. It was about 11 years ago when I first came across. Now, this is what I'm using now, but for many years I used Dr. Bronner's. Um, and it comes in a little quart jar for like, a, I don't know, it's about 7 8 or $9 down at the health food store. And then Costco started carrying this recently, and this is 22 bucks. But you're getting, oh, no, wait a minute. It wasn't a quart jar. The Dr. Bronner's wasn't a quart jar. It was a, a pint, I think. It was a little pint jar. Just one of those little, you know, about about the size of this um, little pint jar. Anyways, this is two quarts for 22 bucks, And this is excellent coconut oil. Uh, like I said, it's from Costco. It's the Nutiva brand. Um, and it's... You know, expeller pressed, 100% virgin, uh, which is cold pressed, which is what you want when you're using coconut oil for skincare and stuff. Actually, I think when you're using coconut oil, anyways. But this is what I do, okay? And I put this on right out of the shower while I'm still wet, much like. Remember the commercials from days ago when they would tell you to use our oil right out of the shower before you dry off. You know, you put your oil on and then you let it naturally evaporate as the uh, water flashes off your skin and what's left over then you just kind of rub it in or you know towel it off but your skin absorbs that moisture because your pores are all open from the warm shower and your skin is all open and receptive to whatever you put on it so right out of the shower when you're still wet is the best time to put moisturizer on okay now this is what I do now I was out I ran out the other day and I thought well this will be a perfect time to make my moisturizer and make it in a video, okay? So, I just scoop a bunch of this out and put it in here. Okay, and I'm going to do that while I'm right here on camera. I'll probably fast forward through all of this. Now, when I had the Dr. Bronner's jar, uh, when I was buying the Dr. Bronner's, I would just take the lid off, of course, and put it in the microwave so that it melted down. Oh, I just splattered on myself a little bit. So that it would melt down just a tiny bit and just dump right out, you know, but I, you know, I don't want to melt this whole thing down. Because the more you melt your coconut oil, 
the more often you melt it down. Now, if you live in a climate that is 67 or 76 degrees or above, it'll stay liquid for you. And in that case, I would suggest finding a spray bottle to put it in. Um, the ones down at Walmart that they have in that uh, in that little they're kind of bins, you know, where I think they cost like two or three dollars. They have a pretty a pretty big mist on them so that it will actually shoot the coconut oil out because a lot of the smaller ones you find like I pick some up at um, uh, Pier 1 Imports that the the coconut oil wouldn't spray out of it was too uh, the molecular structure I guess was too you know heavy for the spray bottle but uh, okay so I just scoop a whole bunch of this out now you might think that this is a lot of trouble to go through but if you have troublesome dry skin in the winter time it's absolutely worth it you will not have it anymore once you try this plus you get um, let's see 22 bucks for a big old tub of this coconut oil and these little containers that I'm smashing all in my these things here are probably about a pint and a half um, and then, of course, including the essential oils that I put in it, which you don't have to do that either. You don't have to. I do because, um, you know, I put f several in it that are anti-aging essential oils, basically. And I don't know if you guys, you guys might not think so, but all of my friends tell me that my hands look very young for my age. I don't have any kind of age spots, none at all, for almost 50 years old. Um, my fingernails are a little bit chipped, but yeah, I look, my skin, period, my skin looks quite young for 46 years old and um, battling lupus for 16 years. I've got really nice skin. Matter of fact, uh, I have a couple of friends that have lupus as well, um, women that I've actually met through a lupus support network, and um, they... They're like, how do you, you keep your skin so nice, you know? And I'm telling you, it's my coconut oil and my essential oils. And I've turned a lot of them onto it. And that is one of the deciding factors that I had when I started making videos is um, I've had, you know, I had a few of my gals tell me, um, why don't you... Why don't you tell, why don't you market that? Well, I'm not going to do something like that. I don't have the time or the finances to market my own product. But I certainly can come on YouTube and show people about it. Because I've got women that have come to me and said, I, I cannot believe that my doctors haven't told me about this little simple thing. And the itchy scaly legs is gone. No more itchy scaly elbows, knees, whatever you have, um, you know, that you have problems with. Okay, so I filled my, I filled my jar full of coconut oil. Now I have, let me show you here, I have my, uh, you see my essential oils right there? I've got them on one of the pullouts of my desk right here and I am going to fix my camera real quick first and I'm just going to get in this box real quick because you want to keep your essential oils in the dark and in as cool a temperature as you can keep them in. Room temperature's fine, but, okay, and I am going to start out with, now you don't have to use these oils, okay? I just use lavender oil because it doesn't irritate my skin, and it's very good skin. It helps keep, or it's very good oil. Um, lavender oil, now I'm not going to go into all of the properties that these things do, but I am, my next video that I put up, I am going to tell you about um, the main um, essential oils and what they do for you, what their properties are. So, um, if you don't want to try this out, you know, or at least with the oils in it, until I put that video up, that will be up in just a few days, okay? And what I am using here, now, normally, I would use my regular old lavender oil, but I have some of Wen's, and this is a wonderful product, you guys, um, I have some of Wen's lavender oil, and this is, um, Chaz Wen is, I love, I'm a Wen girl. Uh, I'm I, not, well, I take that back. I used to be a Wen girl, but not so much anymore because I've got so little hair that I find um, it only worked well for me when I had much thicker hair. But, oh, boy, did I love that stuff. But he makes a very, very good lavender oil, and he makes um, 
uh, orange and fig oil, and I will put the links to his site where you can get this kind of oils if you're if you feel up you know if you feel like you want to check it out. Um, he's got little uh, uh, sample kits that you can get of all of the oils that he makes, and these oils are excellent to just put in your hair, on your body. Um, they're just really good oils, but I do have this one left, and I keep it in my box, and the lid does not fit on it with my box closed, so I've been trying to use it up so I can keep my box closed, so I'm going to put about four of these droppers full right on top of the coconut oil, or right on top of the coconut lard. <laughs> As soon as we're done, as soon as I'm done adding everything, I'll pop it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and melt it all down. And then I'll let it, uh, you know, shake it around just a little bit, move it around so that the oils all mix. And then I'll put it in the freezer to flash freeze. Okay, so I'm going to put four or five. It's entirely up to you how much oil or how much lavender scent you want. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be a set amount. Um, I usually put three or four in there just so that I get the benefits from it. Okay, and then the next one I'm going to use is frankincense. Now, frankincense has wonderful anti-aging properties. Um, it's very, very good for the skin. And this goes back to the Queen Elizabeth days, you guys. Queen, uh, Queen Elizabeth, Cleopatra, they were all using frankincense. You know, we all know about frankincense. It's really good stuff, and it's been around for year, for ages for a reason. And I put about 10 drops, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, I put about 10 drops in there of the frankincense. Now you think that might not be very much for a big old tub like this, but it is, it's plenty. Okay, and then I take a little bit of rosehip oil, and I'll just put, yeah, one or two droppers in. And I will list these all down below. Now I use these for a particular reason for these oils because they're all anti-aging properties with them is the reason why I'm using these ones in particular. The anti-aging properties and um, the, you know, for whatever reason they work really good with the skin so that's why I'm using them. Now I'm going to put a couple drops of rosemary. Rosemary is very good for um, antibacterial. You know, I'm and I not a couple drops. I'm gonna put one of these whole droppers, which these are really small droppers, so an average size dropper, this is probably about a third, so I'd say one dropper full. Put one dropper full of rosemary in with it. Now you can add anything you want. I mean you're not unless you're allergic to it, you're not gonna put anything in there that's gonna hurt you. Um, you will find out though if you're allergic you're gonna find out right away because you'll start itching and you know what I mean you'll find out quick if it's not good for you but you can put any of these in that you want okay and then the last one I'm going to put in is fennel again now fennel the reason why I use fennel in all my stuff is it has properties in it that holds the moisture that you're putting into your skin, it holds it in there. And so I always use a couple drops of fennel in almost everything I do. Okay, and then I'm going to put a couple of drops of fennel in there. Just a few. I don't really want, although I do like the smell of it, I don't really want that smell in this. So I'm going to put that to the side. And then personally, now you don't have to do this and many won't, but I like to use tea tree oil in it. Because again, this is a very good antibacterial. Um, it keeps, because of the lupus, I get a rash that breaks out on my chest and on my back. And this keeps that at bay. So I'm going to put a few drops of that in it as well. Okay. And then that's it. Now you can use... Um, you know, you can put a few drops of patchouli in it if you like that whole 70s hippie smell, which I actually love that smell, as long as it's not, you know, gag me overwhelming, which patchouli can be that way. I mean, you can't even take your finger and go like that and dab it on and you've used way too much. <laughs> Sometimes I, I see women or I'll walk past them in the store and the smell is so overpowering and I think, man, if if only that was toned down by 200%, you'd smell really good. <laughs> now, because I do like that smell, I'm going to put in a couple drops of myrrh. Okay, and these I'm only putting in for the smell. Ah, 
get these open. And these are the Oracacia brand. And I'll list all this stuff down below for you. Okay. But really what it comes down to is the coconut oil. That is the main, you know, that's the star of the show here. And I'm going to put a couple drops of the myrrh. Now, you could put Neroli oil in this, and that would be a really good thing. But Neroli is so freaking expensive that I generally don't put it in my, you know, in this. I feel that I have enough ingredients in here, and the coconut alone is doing enough good for my skin. And considering how my skin is, and I never have used it, then I'm okay with not starting to use it. You know, with anything that you put on your face, you definitely want to put Neroli in it. Definitely, you absolutely have to have Neroli, Palm Rosa, and Carrot for any kind of serums that you're going to put on your face. But on your body, you know, not so much, just because with the Neroli, it's just so pricey. Really pricey. So again, I'm just going to put a little bit of um, the patchouli in, and I mean a fraction, because I don't want it to overwhelm, you know, what I've got going on here, and it will. Okay, and that's it. And then I take this to the microwave and melt it all down. And that's what I'm going to go do right now. And I'll be right back and show you my concoction. I'm back, and this is my concoction. Okay, now you can see that there are some chunks in there that haven't melted. But you don't want to just, you know, nuke it until everything melts because then it'll be too hard and you can't really handle it. It only takes 76 and above, so... You know, as long as you have half of it melted or a portion of it melted, just leave it sit on the counter, put the lid on it, leave it sit there, and it will, you know, the rest of it will melt down. Now, you will see when you do this, you go to the microwave, take your tub of coconut oil with you, because once you get that melted down, you're only going to have about a half a jar, and then you're going to add more of your coconut um, lard <laughs> to it until you've got a full tub melted down. Now, after it's melted down... I like to put these items in. Where's it at? Now, the reason why I wait for this to melt down, it, or the reason why I wait until it's melted down to put these in, is because it just seems to blend better with it. Okay? You could put it in before, too. It doesn't matter. But I will put a full dropper of vitamin E oil into this jar of melted coconut oil. A full dropper. Okay. And if you, I mean, you, you're welcome to even put more than that in if you want, you know. And then about equal to a full dropper of the vitamin A oil as well. Okay, now, when I am having skin problems, like, um, you know, sometimes even my concoctions and my skin is just still too dry, I will put a teaspoon of raw honey got to be raw. It can't be any kind of processed. Um, a teaspoon or just a chunk, you know, of like honey right off the hive. In with it and let it melt down with it. And I'm when I say a teaspoon, I mean a teaspoon. You don't want to put any more than that in there or it will uh, it'll leave your skin sticky. You know, obviously. You only want to use... Now, I've done a lot of experimenting, too, with putting honey in my, in my um, moisturizers to where it doesn't leave your skin sticky and the most I've been able to find is a teaspoon in a big old jug like this but the the benefits are fantastic so yeah you you want to actually do that matter of fact I think I will anyway okay Okay, and then are you ready for this? Now, a lot of people are going to balk at this, but trust me when I tell you, okay? Raw honey. Raw. Um, you don't want a, any kind of process, just raw. I get this from my neighbor. I have a hard time getting the cap off every time because it's like glue. Okay? One teaspoon. Now, with me, I just use my little ceramic um, spoon here. And I put, this is a level teaspoon. It looks like it's a lot more, but it's not. It's just a teaspoon. And then I put that in there as well. And I just put, and I do this after it's melted, so that I can put, and you know, I'm sorry I'm jumping around like this, but when you put stuff in this and you go to mix it up, you don't want to use anything metal. 
okay? A apart from the spoon that you're using to scoop the oil out of the, the container of coconut lard, you don't want to use anything metal with anything that has essential oils in it. The, the oils react with the metal, and it's not always a good thing. So that's why you see me using this um, ceramic spoon here. Okay, and then I just put the oil, the uh, honey in there and stir it around really good so that the honey is all dissolved. Okay, and that'll take a little bit for the honey to dissolve. Just like it would in, you know, just like it would take a while to dissolve in your cup of tea if it's not real hot. It'll take a little bit to dissolve. And there, my friends, you have a body cream that you put on straight out of the shower or your tub or whatever. Um, you know, once this solidifies, I actually like it that I live in a climate that this will get hard again and I can use it like a body butter right out of the shower because I don't, I don't know, I've had body sprays before. I've had, you know, I've bought them before and <laughs> every couple days I'm like spraying down the whole bathroom with Fabuloso to clean the oil off everything because it just goes everywhere. <laughs> At least it always did for me. Maybe I was not knowing like anybody else, but it always did for me. So that's it. That's my concoction. Every time I make this, my husband laughs at me. But then, you know, every time he touches my skin, he's like, Honey, you've got the softest skin. And I know I do. Because <laughs> I know what I'm doing here. And that is it. That is the miracle... <laughs> of coconut oil and I know the honey seems like you know e but you just want to make sure to not use more than a teaspoon okay teaspoon a level teaspoon too not a not a heaping although honestly you could probably get away with using a heaping one it probably wouldn't be you know with as much coconut oil as in here it's probably wouldn't be that big of a deal but um yeah a level teaspoon and then you do want however to if if you don't if you see that everything isn't completely blended and melted together if there's any droplets of honey in the bottom or anything like that put it in the microwave and keep stirring it with something not metal and you know what works really good a skewer um, you know a wooden skewer kebab skewer works really good keep stirring it with something that's not metal until you see that it's all dissolved and you've got a relatively clear liquid okay um, relatively clear it doesn't get completely clear because of the honey but it'll get pretty much clear. And then you want to pop the top on it and put it in the freezer. Even if you do live in a climate where it will, um, you know, go soft again, you want to put it in the freezer so that the it will it will solidify really quickly. And it, it like it's it's like it molecularly binds all of those ingredients together. So that when it melts back down again, if again you live in a 76 or above climate, when it melts back down, they won't all separate, and you'll have like a pile of honey at the bottom. And you know what I'm saying? So that is my wonderful, wonderful stuff. And when this is all done, I will just put it in my cabinet, in my bathroom. And right before I take the shower, I put this out on the counter and take the top off so that I don't have to handle it with wet hands or greasy hands or anything like that. So that as soon as I get out of the shower, I've got it sitting there waiting for me. And then I just scoop it right out with my hands. Now, a lot of people would be like, oh, you're getting bacteria and all. Well, that might be true. You know, but you are fresh out of the shower, and you're just rubbing it all over your body, and it only lasts for a couple weeks, you know, until you're making more. I've never had any kind of a problem with, you know, if you feel the need to put a scooper in there, then go for it, but I don't. I just scoop it right out with my hands. If you live in a climate that's 76 or below, you put it in between your hands, smash it around, and then just start rubbing it on, and your body, uh, your body heat melts it immediately. I mean, like that. And you just rub it all over your entire body, belly, back, legs, everywhere, my feet, everything. And it is just incredible what this stuff will do for you if you have dry skin. So I encourage anybody that has dry skin problems to check this DIY moisturizer out. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will be sure to answer you. You know I will. Um, I can't see myself never not answering my subscribers like I'm seeing a lot of big gurus do um, unless I get so prolifically big that I can't handle it you know but then I got four daughters I can recruit so <laughs> and I'm always giving them money so they'd have to you know it'd be something that finally they'd be earning their 
you know, you know, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> so that's it, guys. And if you have any questions, just let me know. You're even welcome to mail me personally. And um, I'll put everything that you need to know is in the down bar. Watch for my video on telling you about all the different essential oils that are pertinent and what they will do for you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.